Some people see that maybe, you know, there are some issues with fitment. Some people saying maybe it wasn't, you know, proper the way that we did the install. I think y'all did a great job with what y'all had to work with. Yeah, I just, uh, I just wanted to clear a couple of things up. I don't want this to seem like I'm covering my ass, but, you know, the internet, things move fast. So I just need to make sure you guys know what we have to deal with to get this to work. Now, again, this, whatever I'm saying right now has nothing to do with 1016 as a company, how they do business. That's their own thing. Right. Uh, even their parts, I even said it before, their, their carbon, the finish on their carbon is, is money. It, it's, I swear it's better than OEM, the way it looks. Right. In terms of fitment, you know, that's, you know, aftermarket parts, they're not going to feel like OEM. Even OEM parts on cars like this, these are hand assembled, they're not going to fit uh, like you would expect. But we did have a lot of trouble um, with these side pieces. The wing was fantastic, not a single problem on the wing. Uh, nothing in this kit came with instructions. We did call them before doing anything on the car. They gave us a couple pointers, uh, and I'm gonna go over that right now. All the screws and everything for the wing, again, no instructions, but it's not too hard to figure out, put everything aside, organize it. Eventually you'll figure it out. So the wing's perfect. Hood was uh, really good, really good fitment on the hood. Front lip, again, Things like this, especially that are like three pieces, now you're working with three pieces instead of one. Three pieces that are aftermarket instead of like replacing one or two or whatever. Right. You are gonna run into more fitment issues because there's more parts, but with a little bit of like, you know, a little bit of drilling, opening up some, some of the clip holes maybe, uh, we were able to get the lip on secure, it's tight. I don't know if you've been scraping it yet, but. No, I haven't scraped it yet though. No, not yet. No, I maybe uh, on the underbody maybe. No, yeah. I was playing. Well, we put the slip low actually. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. And I do got to say this. Let me just include this real quick. They didn't make one dollar off me as far as putting this on there. And literally all I do with them, you, I mean, I can tell them about the, with the wrap, right? Do you mind? For the wrap, we only charge material. Yep. For and that was 2500 and I showed y'all that in the videos a while ago. Yeah, and this isn't no vivid Chinese chrome vinyl. This is Avery, satin chrome, laminated. So, uh... We, we use the good stuff here. Right. And then as for all the parts, whatever, any other... Everything was 100% free. We did it for free. Uh, establishing good relationship. He's helping us out with social media. Some of you guys yep. follow us. Thank you for that, by the way. Thank you very much. Um, Iron Sharp and Irons. G -Squad. Oh, big G-Squad. Yeah. You know what I mean? The crazy thing about G-Squad, one day G-Squad can be with you. <laughs> the real G-Squad can be with you no matter what. Through good and bad, they're going to understand yeah. everything. Yeah. But then there is some G-Squad that just got that type troll brain and they're going to go berserk. You know what I'm saying? So these are my guys, though, and I, have to, I can't stress this enough. I trust them what they do. They do great work. They do great raps. There's no fugaces. There's no goddamn fraudulent shit happening. There's no half-assing it. And I appreciate that and the fact that y'all are young go-getters. Some people could look at y'all young and say that could be a bad thing. I think it's not. I think it's a great thing. Well, you know what I'm saying? I mean, one thing I wanted to point out, like, yeah, we are young. I mean, average age between me, Blake, and Aaron were, were the owners is like we're, we're like 25, 26 year old, years old. Um, and if you look at our business, it's, it's only been up since like March or April. But don't think like, hey, we just, you know, I was working at a restaurant and then, hey, you know what? I'm gonna start working on the exotic. Right. <laughs> we've been doing this since we were in high school and we've been working on high-end cars and it's, it's, this isn't nothing new to us. Right. Installing aftermarket parts, carbon parts, McLaren, Lambo. Cause let's get an understanding. Listen, they put that whole wide body right there on that car and look how good it looks so you mean to tell me if they can fabricate that and put all that shit together like that they would have a hard time putting some goddamn carbon fiber parts on a car yeah and it's one thing to have like a an add-on part so like usually like on some cars uh you'll have a lip that goes like under the bumper right so like add-ons these are all replacements only the wing is an add-on right the hood 
complete replacement. All three of those pieces are replacements. The middle one is actually uh, it's an overlay. Uh, these are also replacements. So I want to focus on the sides real quick. Yeah, let's get over there real quick. And, uh, just to compare it to the original. And I'm on a sliding chair too, by the way. This was where we struggled the most, and this is where kind of all of the uh, debate is right now. The issue right now we're having is it doesn't really seem like it, but it is actually rubbing when, when the two pieces close, and you could see it on both parts here. You see, it, it picks up that dust every time I close the door. Right. On both pieces, it's rubbing both sides of the car too, so it's not even of like, oh, maybe this side we did it a little right. this way or not. It's both sides happening the same way. Um, and then people made a comment that we shouldn't have used double-sided tape. Uh, to put this together, let me just tell you, uh, this, the actual door shell, the uh, aluminum part, well, you know, that's all one piece, but these covers right here, and on the 720S, completely double-sided tape, what? onto the car. So double From the factory. Tape, from the factory. So don't think double-sided tape is like a cheap Mickey Mouse fix. Double-sided tape has its purpose, it works really well. Um, it didn't hold it because there's too much tension just from the fitment. I mean, there's no way for you guys to see this, but I have to apply a lot of pressure to, to even get this to, to contact. Right. So that's why the double-sided tape let go. The original piece, same thing. Up here, along here, clips in just like that. Only difference is at the bottom, it has these uh, little plastic brackets that kind of fold. And that's where the screws go, and so it's secured from the clips, and then it's going to close up, and this is, this is perfect. All right. Only problem, when we call it to, th these have absolutely nothing, it's just solid carbon, there's nothing for us there's to do. There's none of those little clips yeah, here and, and here. There is a better solution, I could put tap screws into the carbon and drill into your door, which is... We don't want that. Unnecessary, double-sided tape is removable, so... We talked to 1016, we're like, yo, what are we supposed to do about this? They said to heat it, because these are plastic welded. They said to just heat it up with a heat gun. They should come right off and attach to the carbon, which uh, is, it's, it, even if they could <laughs> heat up and come off like that, which is not how plastic works, uh, this isn't plastic, so there's nothing for it to even attach to. We did even try to make our own little brackets, but we just, uh, when we did the install, the double-sided tape did seem like it was holding cool. You picked up the car a couple days after yeah. anyway and everything was fine, but probably from, from driving and rubbing and all that, it's starting to open. Right. So, yeah, we could try something else to create our own brackets here, but the real problem isn't even that. It's that the two pieces are rubbing. Right. So I'm just gonna take this off real quick just to show you guys. Yeah, cause that's just explaining like the gap in the MOOC right here, right? Like, yeah. The, wide the other side, I think, it stayed closed. There was less tension on that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's yeah. cool over there. Just to show how these go on. And the reason I want to show this, so right now there's no screws. The double-sided tape's not even on there. So the only thing that is holding the carbon to the door are the clip themselves. It doesn't sound good. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm saying. But see, here's the thing. That's a good sign. You know, it, it, it's giving me a hard time to take it off. It's clipped in, it's secure. Okay. It's not, it's not all wobbly. Even though it's open in the back, it doesn't really wobble. Okay. But in comparison, Wobble City over here. This one. Oh yeah, on the wing. It's just bad. <laughs> yeah, wobble, wobble City. <laughs> this back piece has about, it's like five or six 10 millimeter screws that go underneath. They line up with the factory holes, perfectly fine. So good fitment in the bottom. So it's secure, that's not gonna go anywhere. But the same clips, th these same clips up here that go into the door, right. on this side, on this piece right here, just aren't holding. You can literally see them all sticking out right here. Right, so what the hell is that about? So it's not, and again, this isn't, I'm, I'm not here bashing 1016. I just think uh, maybe the, the two pieces on both sides, maybe it was a bad batch, or maybe there was some sort of issue with this part, because I know they can make the clips uh, clip in better. They did it here on the door just fine. This is, I'm, I'm still pulling this and it's not off yet. I mean, well, I think they get the gist though. We ain't gotta pull it all the way off, do Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there you go, yeah. That's good. That's a Where my guy Blake at? <laughs> that's the sound you wanna hear when you pop something in, right? Right.
and then even then it's it doesn't wobble like that when there's an issue like this where the clips just aren't grabbing there's nothing I can really do I can't I can't do body work it's carbon fiber so any bondo or fiberglass whatever I want to add to this you are going to see that which defeats the purpose of buying carbon fiber parts um, it's just not grabbing so the clip itself or, or the opening is, is too big and the clip has nothing to, to kind of bite into. It does jiggle. I don't right. know if it makes noise when you're driving, if, if you can hear this or not. No. Um, but the main issue is that they're rubbing and that's, that's the right. problem because- Because it's fucking up the quality of the It's carbon. only getting worse, you know? Right. You've only had your car like two weeks now. This piece right here has those holes underneath that line up with the factory holes, so I can't- move Hey man, the it's the pitman, bro. It's the pitman. I, you don't want to say how I say it. It's the goddamn fitment. Because if y'all got it insecure in there in all the measurements, that means that it's the fitment. Yeah. Simple. Simple. I know you don't want to say it's the fitment. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just not here to talk shit about any company. I'm not here to talk shit either, but I'm saying that I paid 15 grand. My guy, Kirian, looked out, gave me another 15 back, but still, that's still 15 grand in the shit rubbing. There you go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all did y'all part, because look, I mean, look at it. It just comes out a little bit, a little bit more than the actual body. Of the yeah. car, it comes out a little bit more. So it's coming out a little bit more, yeah. and that means this com is coming out a little bit more. Another and if they're both coming out a little bit fucking more, yeah. they're gonna touch. Exactly. Another Fit thing me. to keep in mind is carbon fiber, fiberglass parts are thicker than plastic and metal and aluminum. So I think I was mentioning yep. that about the hood before. Uh, same thing here. You know, even if they have a perfect mold, everything's the same. The piece itself is going to be thicker all the way around because there's carbon, there's fiberglass behind it for strength, and then resin, clear coat, it's way thicker than, than plastic or metal can be. Right. Um, and then another thing, you mentioned what if we put a, a clear bra, you know, yeah. you thought, but the problem It'd is be they're thicker. already rubbing. So adding another uh, clear bra is thick. It is. Adding another two mil on each side, that's like putting, a, it's almost like putting a credit card here and another credit card there. Just yeah. imagine, it's, you're going to hear that. That's how hard it's going to be rubbing. Right. So, just not much we can do here. Hopefully 1016 has a, a better solution for us. Um, hopefully they have something that we could use instead of the double-sided tape as well. Right. Just to make this look better. But aside from that, the rest of the kit, it's really good. The hood's yeah, right. I mean, it looks good. Nobody talking shit about 1016, man. They, 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 they do do some great high-quality shit. You know what I mean? And it does look good. I mean, look at the weave of the patterns and all that. It's a little dirty. Don't mind the fingerprints and shit. But it's carbon fiber, man. It's top of the moon shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just, this is what comes with the car shit, man. Yeah. You're going to have quirks that's going to pop up. Perfect. And you can't, unless you're going to make that car perfect. Or unless you got a goddamn Keenan Seg. How you say the name? Is it kind of, kind of, kind of, yeah, I, don't fuck, know. I don't know how to say that shit either, man. That's how to say that but shit. yeah, but unless you got one of them. The shit, even them, I guarantee you, shit that, yeah, there ain't shit perfect on there. I'm not saying that we're perfect, we don't make, we're, we make mistakes, shit happens, uh, but this right here, this is definitely as, as good as it's gonna get, unless there's some other solution that- Oh, replacement part, just say it, brother. Or replacement part. There you go. You know, yeah, that, don't it feel good? Yeah, replacement part. <laughs> These are my guys here. There's no ill will here. They made no money off I me. Mean, there's no profit to be made or no reason to lie about the shit. And y'all know I'm not one to lie. If I don't want to speak on it, I'm just not going to speak on it. But one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to lie to y'all. All right? So I'm going to tell y'all right now, it's the fitment. Shout out to 1016. No, they make some great quality products. Shout out to my guy, uh, Araj, and everybody here at the Rad Fishing. Make sure you follow my Instagram and subscribe to their YouTube channel. But they kept a G with me the whole time they were building the car. The whole time they were telling me, listen, we have a problem with the fitment. And you know what I'm saying? And it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just part of the game, man. You got to take the good with the bad and the goddamn ugly with the goddamn beauty. You know what I'm saying? So that's it, man. Anything else you want to tell them, brother? No, I think, I think we covered everything. There y'all go, man. So... Fuck with my guys in rap district, man. Anybody was talking shit about them, you're wrong. All right? Stop doing that shit. They're real cool people and they do great quality work. Like I said, they did a fucking wide body on this car right here. Fabricate the whole shit. And why is the problem that they would get some goddamn. There's nothing. You guys should look at the, the Iron Man McLaren we did. Yep. So Same car, completely took that apart, cut into the original hood, wired it up, did a bunch of work, shipped it to another country. I know we did it right. So. so. There you go, fucking Iron Man. So, come on, man. You know, even though my shit is more legendary, keep it pure with you. You know what I'm saying? But that's it, man. Nothing else for y'all to see or talk about, man. That's it. I like my guys in Rap District. 
holler at 1016, they make some good shit too. Ain't nobody bad mouthing them, man. But it's just the fitment fucked up. It just comes with the game, all right? Tall guy, I'm out. Arash, say bye to him, brother. Good night, guys. Thank you. See so y'all next video, baby.